piece of crap! Huh? Oh, um, sorry guys, sorry you had to see that there. Um, I just had a strange dream where I was locked in the same room with Melted Chocolate Bonnie. <sighs> what time? Oh my god, did I oversleep again? <sighs> Let's see what the date is. It's... It's January 1st? 2024 has already rolled? Well, you all know, you all know what that means. It's time for a recap video! <sighs> well... 2023 was certainly a year for not just my channel, but for FNAF. I'll discuss that in a bit. As for my channel, 2023 was a was a pretty good year for my channel. I hit 500,000 subscribers. In fact, I'm really close to 600,000. Um, Freddy Fazer Friends also did really good with its videos. Bonnie's face did really well. And, he, and especially with Evil Comeback. That video actually ended up trending on Twitter, mainly its fight scene which was animated by my good friend Knowing the Guy. And as for other things, Benny Tales did end, but that was because I was lose I lost a complete interest in the Benny series, and also due to other reasons, but I'll, I'll, it'll be explained in a, in a future video. So, and as for Finance of Freddy's, people have said that this was the year for Finance of Freddy's. We had a lot of things happening. I'll, I'll, I'll discuss them one by one. We had the, uh, a DLC for Security Breach called Ruined, the, the Finds of Freddy's movie finally dropped after eight years, and we also had a sequel to one of my favorite FNAF games, Help Wanted 2. I'll discuss them briefly, starting with Ruin. And I, I, I know I said that I really liked Ruin, I thought it was a big step up from the base game. When I look back on it now, I'm, I, I might get flack for this, but I don't think Ruin was as good as I remember it. Yes, it did, it did do better with its atmosphere, it had some great character designs, and here's an unpopular opinion, I do think the Mimic has the potential of being a, a decent villain. But other than those few things, it still suffered the same problem as the base game, like repetitive gameplay, endings that are, that are confusing and feel rushed, and the Vanny Mask, while it is a cool concept, really doesn't fit in with FNAF, and it just breaks the immersion of the series. And it's, and it's a big reason why the game isn't as scary as it, as it could be. So overall, Ruin was better than the base game, but only a little bit. Okay, now onto the movie. And I know that the movie didn't do really well with critics, but FNAF fans like myself really enjoyed the movie. Yes, it's got issues, but I do think the critics were a bit too harsh on it. I, I, I like a lot of things about it. I like the setting. I, I think the Jim Henson Company did a great job with the with, with the animatronics. Some characters were pretty good, and I and, and I really liked the climax with Spring Bonnie. The movie is not without its issues, though. I do think the movie kind of lacks the the horror that the first game had. Some scenes could have been trimmed out, like the fort scene. Like no no really seriously. When I first saw the fort scene, I got total whiplash because it was such a drastic scene. And on top of that, the spring log scene felt pretty underwhelming. But uh, aside from those few issues, I really liked how that movie turned out. And Hell, as for Hell Wanted 2, I found myself enjoying that game more than Ruin. Because unlike Ruin and Security Breach, it actually offers gameplay that's fun and engaging. Uh, of course, it's not perfect. I think the horror took a bad seat, unlike the first Hell Wanted. And FNAF, FNAF 6 does feel too sandwiched in the middle, if you know what I mean. And some mini games, I think, repeat themselves too much. But besides those few issues, I really liked Help One, and I would go as far as to say it was my favorite thing that dropped for FNAF this year. So that's really all I got for FNAF in terms of this year. So it certainly was the year for FNAF, and a huge step up from the previous years. 2021 was not a good year for FNAF. In fact, I think it was the worst year for FNAF, though I'm not going to go into detail about it. 2022 was just as bad, but it wasn't nearly as bad as the year before. As for what's to come for my channel for this year, I do have some series videos in mind. Like, I would like to do a Transformer series, though these are not confirmed to be coming out this year. Keep that in mind. Something I would like to do is make a Security Breach spin-off series. It wouldn't be in the same universe as Freddy Fazbear Friends. It would be its own series and, of course, its own canon. And there's also the Thomas series that I really want to do. I know it keeps getting delayed. I, I apologize for that, but... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the right resources to make the sets. I did start a, a mini-series called Sodor Remakes, and the series is pretty self-explanatory. 
So, and, and with that said, that's basically all I have to say for this recap. 2023 was a great year for FNAF, and I have a lot of things in mind for my channel for this year, so stay tuned for that. And, with, and, and, and since Finance of Phrase is going to be 10 years old this year, I'm really excited to see what, that, what, what this year will offer to the series. And so, I hope you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, if you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button, don't forget to share it with your friends, and if you don't want to miss out on future content, just click the notification bell next to the subscribe button, and that way, you won't miss out on any future uploads. This is Andrew signing off, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! What? Ow! Ah! Ugh. Stupid chair.